Hi everyone, we are at uh, NEDS 2024 in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. We are now on the Damen booth, standing next to that uh, great looking anti-submarine warfare frigate. It is an ongoing program for the Royal Netherlands Navy. And to find the latest with this program, I am meeting with Bob Desmet, tender manager at Damen. Bob, good morning, great to see you again. Great to see you again, Xavier. Welcome to our stand. Thank you very much. So, what is uh, the current status of the uh, ASWF program for the Royal Netherlands Navy? Well, as you know, I might have read, we now have four ships under contract, two for the Dutch and two for the Belgian Navy. Engineering is well underway and production is going to start somewhere next year. Uh, and there is also an intention from the Dutch government to acquire two more ships. So, we're currently in pre preparation of making sure that that extension of the contract uh, can materialize. So more uh, work for uh, for Diamond, which is uh, always good. When are you supposed to enter production? Uh, I believe pretty soon next year. Yes, it should be halfway next year. We should be full in production. Yes. And uh, to talk about the design in itself, also the, as the name infers, the focus is uh, hunting submarines. Absolutely. So that's also a very big focus in the whole design of the ship, both in the platform and in the sensor suite. So. Platform-wise, there has been a lot of focus in making it a very silent ship when it sails. So, for example, the propeller design is uh, very, very complicated and very advanced. It has been done largely by our uh, customer, in this case, actually, Comet. Uh, so they have made uh, a design which will be very performant with uh, low uh, cavitation uh, and very high performance. So in order to make sure that there's not too much noise on the water, uh, the propellers will be driven at the lower speed, so when uh, uh, the submarine hunting is really going on with the sensors, um, with uh, diesel electric part of the um, propulsion system, so we have a combined diesel uh, and uh, so combined diesel electric and diesel propulsion system, and for speeds up to 15 knots, uh, electric drive will power the ships, and those diesel generator sets uh, making that electric power, they are. Um, mounted so that they will be as silent as possible to make sure that for any uh, enemy submarine it will be very difficult to uh, well know where the ASWFs will be sailing and hunting them. Uh, it will be fitted with a pretty unique and new uh, radar suite, the SX suite by uh, Thales Netherlands with uh, S-band radars and X-band radars on two different uh, masts. Yes, exactly. So the, the for an anti-submarine system especially, also the anti-air warfare suite is quite uh, extensive. It's all being acquired, by the way, by the government. So for, for, from our perspective, it's all government furnished equipment um, built and delivered in cooperation between Thales, uh, Comet, but also ourselves, of course, because in the end, all these sensors, they need to be fit in those masts, which, by the way, will be produced in uh, composite. So that makes it all the more challenging and, uh, and complex for us, but also, of course, very interesting to be a part of. And another pretty interesting feature of this uh, vessel from an operational point of view is that they will deploy uh, UASVs for ASW as well. So they'll do multi-static uh, anti-submarine warfare. Exactly. There is a, a quite a large, let's say, midship bay from which on port and starboard side either more or less 12 meter sized uh, ribs can be deployed or USVs. So as these, um, let's say, connectors or kits are being uh, developed right now, it has already been taken into account in the, in the, the ship design that they can be uh, used and deployed from this uh, ASWF, which will function as a sort of a mothership in that case. And uh, modern weapon speed, because uh, it's fitted with the latest systems such as the Sovra Ponte by Leonardo and uh, the new Naval Strike Missile, which is the new anti-ship missile uh, selected by the Royal Netherlands Navy. And I believe uh, last week, uh, Ramsey said they got a contract for the Ram uh, launcher as well. So, yeah, very interesting vessel. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, well, I would also like to highlight, of course, the underwater sensors. They are less visible here uh, in the design, of course, but for anti-submarine warfare also there, uh, again, in cooperation between, uh, for example, Thales and Comet. Um, all of that kind of uh, material is also government furnished equipment, but it has been integrated as much as possible into the platform design, of course. So we've taken, uh, we've taken all that very well into account and I think in the end it will be a very, very performant anti-submarine warfare frigate. Very well, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very nice to have you.